Hi, this is Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training and Behavior uh, and the Pop Cake Project. Today we're going to uh, start a series on sleep. Um, in my experience, the number one way to screw up your puppy is to not allow your puppy to sleep enough. Sleep is a requirement of happy, healthy, balanced brains and bodies, just like us. Um, as a society, in my experience, we overestimate how much exercise our puppies need, um, and that can cause some real problems. So how do you tell if your puppy is overtired? Well, is your puppy biting anything and everything? Um, would you characterize your puppy as like a little baby Vasiloraptor? Um, mischief making, is, is he into everything and you redirect him and then he's off to something else and he's being naughty over there and then you redirect him again and he's off again. And then also just um, hyperactivity, is he like a little naughty ping pong ball? Um, all of the things that most people say are just being a normal puppy. You know, not so much. So um, you cannot, in my experience, exercise exhaustion out of a puppy. Um, what you will instead most likely create is a highly aroused, excitable, sometimes unstable predator in your house. Um, a puppy that's having a tremendously difficult time self-regulating. Um, and so they're just kind of raw. Um, I realize that I'm telling you something that you've never heard before. So I don't want you to take my word for it. As we move through this series, we're going to talk more about how to determine if your puppy is overtired. We talked a little bit about that today. Um, the average puppy, in my experience, needs between 18 and 22 hours of sleep a day hours um, and I'll bet pretty much dollars to donuts that your pup isn't getting that um, and so the great news is it's free to change um, and it can have a profound impact on your puppy's overall health and development and socialization and everything it, it just it changes the whole world it's why it's kind of one of my number one things so um, I'm Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training and Behavior this is the Pot Cake Project and part one of the series on sleep we'll do more on it soon and I look forward to talking to you if um, or I guess reading your posts. Um, if you're enjoying the, this whole thing, keep an eye on us on Facebook and you can feel free to share the videos too. I, I want to help as many people as I can. So uh, have a great day. Go take a nap.